I sort of put my hand up and said, uh, yes, sir, 5019140 SAC Port Rudner. I said, oh, you haven't known that? And he went, oh, yes, sir, at Northern Ireland, Ballykelly. <laughs> I went, what? Seventeen, I signed the, the, the form for Preston North End, 1954. Eighteen, I was called in, and that was it. Well, he, he had to go. But I was <laughs> annoying because I thought I would go to Fullwood Barracks and I would be right close next to the ground. It's not far away, right? And train there, and then I could play weekends, and still nothing would change, basically, except I would be at Fullwood Barracks during the day doing whatever uh, my... Uh, my sort of uh, REF it was uh, routine would be, you know. So it was a case of um, uh, waiting for the station, and I thought, well, this is fine. And the, and the sergeant at the time, when they finished our square bashing, said, "Is there anybody who hasn't got or been offered a station yet?" And I hadn't. So because I thought I knew, because I knew I was going. See, so I, I sort of put my hand up and said, uh, "Yes, sir, five zero one nine one four zero SAC Port Rudner. I said, oh, you haven't known that? And he went, oh, yes, sir. at Northern Ireland, Ballykelly. <laughs> I went, what? I said, no. I and he went, well, I can remember his lot. It's Northern Ireland, Ballykelly. And I thought, oh, wow. And that was uh, the beginning of the end for me, basically, as regards, how the hell can I keep on my football career over there? And it, uh, and it happened to be, like, during the summer, period, so I was over in Balakelly for three, four, five months before any football started, because they played for over there and whatnot, so I just played for a local station. Then I got in the RAF team. As I went to Preston North End after coming out of the RAF, walked in the dressing room, although I said, hi, Cliff, are you back here? Yeah, yeah, right, terrific, yeah, yeah. And it, <laughs> water all over me and everything, and all these games that go on. And I thought, well, it's nice to be back, you know, and so we're out there and we're running around, jogging and doing the thing. <coughs> and then suddenly, Jimmy Milne stops me as I'm going round the ground doing the jogging, and he said, uh, Cliff, I'll see you in a minute. So I went in the little alleyway with him. He says, the, the new boss, Cliff Britton, says, um, he's just asked me who you are, right, and who you were. And I told him that you were, and, and he says, uh, he wants you to go, he, you know, he's, he's got enough staff. See, I don't think they must have realised they were still on their books. You know, still in there, but nobody knew because I never never was there training. So I uh, I thought, well, I haven't had a chance or anything. Only just got back, you know. So about a week later, there was a phone call saying that Port Vale had come after me. Oh, I was angry, yeah, because I was happy. I was really looking forward to it, now, 20 years old, basically in my prime, ready to start, because I'd looked after myself in the RAF, I was fit, and uh, I was really looking forward to it with the guys again, and because uh, <laughs> we got on so well, you know, I mean, I was accepted, and that is a nice feel when you're with amongst players who have different personalities, you know, but, um, and I enjoyed it so much, and, uh, <laughs> It's, uh, it was a, a real kick in the backside for me, really, because I thought, wow, what have I done? He hasn't even seen me play yet.